What's up Average Dad fans, welcome back to another video. This is a slightly different video. Last night I held my third ever live stream and it was a complete success, in my opinion. Now, by success I mean at least 100 people watched it or dipped in and out. I had 32 concurrent viewers for about 90% of the stream, so those are my diehards. I'm going to continue to do the live streams and I am going to do them weekly. We're going to discuss all things tech, Chinese foldables, Apple events, all that good stuff. I'm going to live stream as much as I can, but right now I will commit to once a week. However, I am aware that you all live in different countries and you can't follow my live stream schedule. So what this video is, is Everything in that two hour live stream last night condensed into five minutes. I will answer all your questions that you'd popped in the chat, the comments in this video. So if you missed it, stay tuned. Even if you watched it, you know what to do. Watch the full video, keep on a loop, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, join the channel. Brilliant. Let's go on. Five minutes starting now. So I had a lot of questions asking me which phone I preferred between the Vivo, the Honor, the Huawei. At the end of this video, I'll do what I done last night and I'll run down my top five foldables ever. So stay tuned to the end of the video to find out my top five. Other questions included, can I download the Chase UK banking app? Yes. If it's in the Play Store, you can download it. You can download Google Wallet and Google Pay. You just can't connect it because it's through the Gbox app to the native NFC. However, there is a Curve app. It's for banking and finances. And that you can download natively and it connects to the NFC. I have yet to do it and test it, but I had at least five people comment me about the Curve app. Can you use a stylus? a generic stylus with the Honor Magic V2? No. I have tried an S Pen, a tablet Samsung S Pen, an Apple Pencil, and a generic stylus one of my children had for their Lenovo tablet. I think it was a Lenovo tablet. It didn't work. So no, it seems like you are locked to the Honor proprietary Pen, which is, I believe, coming out soon on AliExpress for £100. Thank you to the commenter that told me that. Now, this question isn't a plant. You can see it. It's in there. It's in my comment section. Where on earth did you buy this bad boy or something along those lines? Well, as most of you know, I bought mine through Wanda Mobile. Link in description. However, you can pick it up on Blue Iode and Trading Shenzhen at the moment. I think AliExpress and Trinity Electronics will have it soon if they don't already. So there's five places you can buy it, but buy it from Wanda and use my link. A lot of questions obviously circled around release dates for the global version and other upcoming foldable phones. I have confirmation. There has been confirmation about quite a few now. So first one, the release date for the global version of the Honor Magic V2 certainly in Berlin anyway, will be the 1st of September. I am 99.99% sure that will be the UK and Spain as well in the first week of September. Now, non-V2 related, the OnePlus Open. This will go on sale the last week of August. There will be an event on the 26th of August. Pre-orders will be available and I believe they will start shipping globally on the 29th of August. And finally, the Xiaomi Mix Fold 3, same timeline as the OnePlus Open, but probably not shipping globally. Only restricted to China. However, Xiaomi do support Google Apps, so the Play Store will be installed in Wanda Mobile or wherever you buy it. They also have global ROM flashes that you can do on the device. And Xiaomi have confirmed a 4 rear camera setup, all Leica lenses, one of them being a 5x periscope zoom lens. Praise whoever you praise. 
another discussion that came up last night was surrounding the Samsung, the Z Fold 5. A lot of people in agreement with me that the Samsung is just basically a ripoff. It's the same device. I wanted to play devil's advocate though, and if you're sitting with a Samsung Z Fold 2, or maybe even a Z Fold 3 that's got a lot of wear and tear, the Z Fold 5 with the trading program that Samsung offer is a good upgrade because of the trading offers. What I was saying in, all, in my previous videos and on the live chat, if you have the Z Fold 4, don't upgrade to the Z Fold 5. The Z Fold 4 is arguably just as good in all areas apart from the hinge is slightly different than the Z Fold 5 and it's a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip. Other than that, it's basically the same phone. So I just went to clarify, I wasn't bashing Samsung for no reason. It was simply that they have rested on their laurels. And yes, we discussed Apple and how they have too, I agree. But generally, whether it be upgrading a 40 megapixel camera or upgrading the zoom lens, Apple do upgrade the hardware to some level every year, typically in the cameras, like the iPhone 15 Pro or Ultra, whatever it's called, is going to have a 5 or 6x periscope zoom lens. Again, praise whoever you want to praise for that. Now, there's lots of amazing random tech chat last night about what laptop I use. I use a MacBook 16-inch Pro. Um, will I do a review on the MacBook? If you want to see a review on my MacBook 16-inch M1 Pro Pop, review the MacBook in the comments. So, review the MacBook. And, yeah, just, again, the chat got away from us for an hour and 50 minutes. It felt like half an hour. It just flew by. So if you haven't had a chance to join a live stream, please come along. It's good fun, open, honest, just a really good way for me to engage with people that view videos such as this one. I also promised I would finish with my top five foldables of all time. I have number five, the Xiaomi Mix Fold 2. The hinge is either open or closed. There's no flex mode and it only has a 2x telephoto zoom lens. So it's at number five. Fantastic foldable device. I love the design and the thinness of it. At number four, the Vivo X Fold 2. I was debating between the Vivo X Fold 2 and the Vivo X Fold Plus because the Plus still has a 5x periscope zoom lens. But I went with the Vivo X Fold 2 because it was a newer chip. The screen feels, the inner screen feels a lot sharper, brighter and just more like glass, and it's a thinner, overall, lighter design as well. So the Vivo X Fold 2 got number four. Number three for me is a Huawei Mate X3. Yes, it has its software quirks and gripes, like banking apps for me. However, that hardware with the 5X periscope zoom lens, with the inner screen that is like genuinely like as solid it feels as solid as the glass on your iPhone or Samsung phone. I love it. The whole camera setup, all the lenses. Huawei are known for being basically the best camera smartphone manufacturers in the world. And the Huawei Mate X3 is one of those. Now that leaves two. The V2 or the Pixel Fold. I had the Pixel Fold at number two. Ultimately, the software experience is fantastic. Obviously, it just works. First time every time with Google software and apps, which is nice when you've used a lot of Chinese mobiles. But the screen on the inside feels just a bit too plasticky, and that crease and the bump is thicker than most. It's right up with the Z Fold 4 and Z Fold 5 as far as how much you can feel the crease. With the Xiaomi, the Vivo, and the Magic V2, and the Huawei, the crease is almost non-existent or as non-existent as it can be for, you know, a glass and plastic screen that folds. So at number one, yes, the V2. I am still blown away every time I pick up the device. I realised I've not really shown you the device. Here it is, in its included carbon case with its kickstand. I love it. The fact that this is not even a centimetre thick folded, it's like just over 200 grams. Again, blown away by the hardware, the cameras, software. We've talked about it, but yeah, that's my top five. 
I will be doing a live stream again this weekend. Date to be confirmed. I will pop it on the community tab. So keep an eye out for that. Please come along and join. If you have any questions for the live stream, let me know. And as always, I thank you from the bottom of my black dead heart for subscribing, liking, viewing all these videos. Until next time.